finally you might see this one wrapped up. I think, in fact, we are going to see it wrapped up. Uh, they've agreed terms, Chelsea, on a £4.25 billion sale. Oh, well, I say Chelsea, it's, uh, it's the government, really, uh, with uh, Todd Burley, or Bowley, the uh, LA Dodgers owner, US financier. Now, the deal worth in total of about £4.25 billion, that's only £2.5 billion of that is actually shares, the value of the club. Uh, the rest of it is going to be paced... Uh, put into a bank account and frozen and given to war victims. Now, it's quite nebulous, that, isn't it? Who are the war victims in Ukraine? If you come mm -hmm. at it from a Russian point of view, as Russian <coughs> you mm -hmm. might not necessarily see the war victims as being Ukrainian. You might see them as being Russian. We'll see where, where that money is distributed later on. I suspect that in a couple of years' time or a year or so's time when it happens, um, we won't be talking about it. So who knows where that will end up. But nonetheless, it's been, it's been done. Uh, it's Todd Bowley. It's, a, it's clear, clear Lake Capital. Mark Walter, who's another financier, and uh, Swiss billionaire Hans-Jörg Weiss. Now, he's interesting because he was the first person, Weiss, mentioned with this deal six, seven weeks ago. My experience of covering takeovers, the per first person linked with the deal is usually the one that's nowhere near it. They're usually, in, they're usually linked for another reason. They're trying to get a bit of publicity or they're trying to, uh, you know, flex their muscles for, to make people sound, make, make the outside world make, think that they're serious in terms of another deal or something like that. But he's actually involved in this one, and they're going to provide £1.75 billion worth of investment over the next few years. So that should satisfy any supporters who are worried about whether players are going to be signed. And remember, Nadine Dorries has said 10 days ago that Chelsea were on borrowed time. This had to be done very quickly. Can you, can you just go over the time for go? Because I don't... Because Roman Abram, Abramovich put up Chelsea for sale before he was sanctioned... No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I mean, well, yeah, you can say that, actually, because in 2019, he put it around surreptitiously that he wanted, he wanted to, sell to sell Chelsea. Now, that was about the time <laughs> of the Salisbury poisonings. He was, sens he, he was sensing a little bit of hostility from the UK government. They were freezing his passport. They are making it difficult to do his £1 billion rebuild of Chelsea. Now, that's another problem, because the stadium, I've talked about it again mm. and again, they had planning in place at that point for Chelsea. The planning applications have all expired now. That will need to be done again. It's going to cost even more. It could cost another two or three hundred billion pounds more, or a million pounds more, Ooh. to get Chelsea Chelsea done. So yeah, it was up, it was up for sale. And remember, we talked about the Jim Radcliffe uh, offer yes. a couple of weeks ago. Now the reason that deal could have been fast tracked is because he did his diligence in 2019. So the sale was serious. So you're right, absolutely right. He did try and sell it. It's different now though because he's under sanctions and he has to sell it quickly. And he had to sell it. And, and you, but will any money go to him? No, no money can go... Because it's, it's ra rather like an oligarch's yacht. Yeah, you Chelsea can't... Chelsea has been taken yeah. over for sale. They've allowed him to have a big, a big input in, into the sale. He knows the club, he knows what the value of the club is. He's been quite sensible and grown up. And look, Ronan Bramovich is worth £22 billion. Yes, it's a little bit of a hole, you're going to have to take a bit of a hit. It's like being denied, a billionaire denied his pocket money for a few yeah. days, yeah. Or something like that. But it's not, he's still going to eat prawns on a Friday night, don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it looks like it's, edgy, it's edging forward. Um, as I say, Nadine Dorries had said... They're on borrowed time. They had to get it done quickly. The deadline was May 31st. Nice. Right. We're already oh, first well. week of May. So. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.